Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy you are here with us today. Yes, we are. Okay, well, this was the um, front covers or the, the cover of my book. Um, I just did some basic ephemera on the back for the inside, um, but I wanted something special on the front. And um, so this will be a longer video, I would think. Uh, I did some copper foil duct tape embossing, then put a layer of black gesso down, then pulled up that black gesso, and then I went over with the Art Extravagance Rust Effect Paste. And then I also took some craft paint in some different turquoise colors. Now, um, this rust effect paste is really cool. Uh, it definitely has a texture to it. I don't know if I did it quite right. This is the first time that I have worked with it. However, I think that it turned out really interesting and really cool. So um, I'm, I'm happy with it where it's at. I could probably cover this with more brown up in here and, you know, have less of that blue showing, but um, I like it for what it is. I like it for how it is. So I'm leaving it where it's at. I think, I think they turned out really cool. So uh, both today and tomorrow, you will see that. Today you're going to see um, the uh, embossing part and then tomorrow we will do the painting part. Okay, guys. Hope you have a great day. We'll chat soon. Hello, artists. Okay, so what I decided to do here, I had this cardboard laying around and the shapes are really interesting. When you tear it up, you get some great linear elements and I really wanted to play with that. Um, so I'm just gluing down different pieces of cardboard onto my um, covers and just using Mod Podge. You could use any glue here really. Something that dries fairly quickly would be preferable. With using cardboard you have to realize that it is going to um, be soft. In other words, I had a lot of movement when I was doing my embossing with this, but I knew that that was going to happen and I was okay with that. I am just putting different pieces of cardboard on in different directions, just trying to make kind of a, a cool little pattern and uh, play with it a bit here. Just layering. I don't usually do things... Um, that are quite this um, abstract, so it was fun to play with. Here I was kind of going back to my old ways, looking at different elements that I could have put on it, and I decided not to use any other elements other than the cardboard. So we go around and uh, trim off all the excess cardboard that's over the edges. Once it's a little bit dry, I really didn't wait for it to dry too much. And then I'm taking pieces of the copper foil duct tape and I'm just gluing or taping it down over uh, the top of the cardboard. Now this did have quite a raised texture to it um, due to the different layers of the cardboard. I was hoping that that would squish down a little bit and it did as I went through the embossing process here later on. Um, as I'm running my fingers over it, I'm getting it into all the different grooves. If you make any holes or anything like that, you can always just cover it with another piece of tape. Um, it's, this is actually a super easy process and you don't have to stress on it. Uh, just try to enjoy it. I was wrinkling up the tape a little bit before I put it down to give it a little bit more texture. Here I'm just running I think a back of a pencil over and through all the different lines to really get um, the embossing done. Embossing is just where you take a tool and you're pushing that tape down into whatever um, cracks or crevices that you have. The more time that you take with this, 
the better the, the piece will be in the end. So you don't have to rush through it at all. And here's both pieces are finished up next to each other. Okay, um, then what I'm doing here is I'm taking a, I think it's a half inch strip of copper foil duct tape and I am edging all of the um, pieces because I really wanted a clean line on the inside of the book. So that's why I'm doing this part. Okay, I'll be uh, coming back on here soon. It was great to talk. Chat soon. Bye. Okay, so we have our two covers um, with the cardboard underneath in different directions and covered with the copper foil duct tape. Uh, I've also gone through and covered the edges. Um, I have thought about putting additional things on here, but I, I really like how um, the graphicness of this. So I'm hoping that um, that this will turn out cool. Now, I have a couple different ideas in mind beyond just putting the gesso on this, but we have to kind of start out with a um, layer of gesso. And uh, then we're going to kind of go from there. Everything's been embossed. And uh, we're just going to cover both of these completely. Okay, so that's this step, and we let this dry all the way. We'll come back. Once the gesso has dried, you start to burnish it off. And burnish just means rubbing off the paint. The gesso will sit down into the cracks and it also um, does antique the um, copper foil tape quite a bit. So it'll kind of take it down. I should have waited a little bit longer probably for the gesso to dry. It did pull up quite a bit here, but that was fine with me. Um, I knew I was going to be covering it with more um, mediums. So you will again see that tomorrow all the cool stuff that I put over the top of it. You can, you know, start by taking off a small amount and you can go back and take off more and more. Just start slow and see where it ends up. Super easy process and really some amazing results. Chat soon.